yo, crawl here. The next thing we're going to attempt is we want to have some nice output, right? So we don't we don't always want to have uh, how should I say this uh, guessing work at what is in the queue, what is not in the queue, and we're already outputting that we added something to the queue right here. So we might as well just just output something when we play a song, right? So we can we can do this very very easily. Um, we are going to do this. I just actually I'm gonna leave the console log there right out, right now here. Remember that in the server queue we set a property with the text channel, right? And what we can do here is we can call on it and put in the song title. So this would look a bit weird and a bit like we should maybe do like now playing or now starting. I'm not sure what to call this. I'm, I'm, like there's uh, there's a debate about that what we can call this, but I think I think we should just stick with with now playing I guess or well the problem with now playing is I want to do a now playing command right so um, start playing let's let's call it start playing just so we can differentiate a bit a bit better and this will this will the moment we we she starts a song and she starts playing it uh, we it just goes it just pastes the message stop playing and then the song title in there we're doing we're gonna do a similar a bit of markdown here so we actually can differentiate between those two things now the next thing we want to do is um have a now playing command right this is again very very simple again we don't want to do anything fancy in there just very simple outputting what we're currently listening to so I'm never sure where to put this. Like I feel like play, skip, and stop are very important. So we're just gonna put this below, I guess, because everything else is not so important. So we're gonna do else if message dot content dot starts with as usual. You know the game. Prefix. Obviously, this is a problem because some people like to do now playing. Some people like to do now playing. We're just gonna stick to MP. This is everything we need. Like. Someone cannot type our prefix in MP. I don't know. I'm I'm very sorry. <laughs> so the next thing we do is we don't need that voice channel check. We could just go directly to this check here and say there is nothing playing that I could. I don't know. There's nothing playing. I guess. Right. And then if there is something playing though. I know this looks very very wonky with all that return undefined, but just just don't don't pay any attention to it. Actually, we don't need to return undefined here. Haha. <laughs> like you will not have that issue except you use my ESLIM configuration, so you don't need to use the return undefined here. Uh, we're gonna return, obviously, a message, and it will say now playing. This is where it comes in, right? This is where I didn't want to call it now playing down below. And we do server queue. If I could type queue, songs, the first one, and title. Now, if we do prefix.mp, we get a working title back. Obviously, we should test this. Like you guys always want to see what's happening, right? Right, the moment. So, first of all, remember, down here we added the start playing, and up here we added the MP. So the moment we add a song to the queue and she joins and starts playing, she will tell us that she stopped playing it now. Very good. The next thing we need to do is check if the now playing is working. So we do MP and it is working. We didn't do any markdown here. So we're going to change this real quick in the editor. Add some markdown here. And this is practically already our now playing command. The next thing we need to do, or that we want to do, might be a volume command. But before we do volume, resume, and pause, because those are not as important. The volume might be very important, but yeah, let's do volume first, right? No, actually not. Yeah, let's do volume first. Volume might be very important. This is this is very true. I don't want to say it's not. So for the volume command, all we need to do is we need to check if obviously there is no server here. So 
if there is no Zorak here, we're just gonna do this check here, right? There's nothing playing. Now, if there is a Zorak here, but there, if there are no arcs, because we want to provide an argument for the volume that we want to change, we're gonna return the message again. But this time, what we're gonna do is the current volume is, and then we're gonna put in the server queue. If I could type queue, volume. So this will print us out the volume. If we just type in uh, the, our prefix into volume, it will give us the volume back. I'm just gonna copy this real quick here. It's faster than me typing it out, I guess. So if we type in volume, it will give us the volume back that we currently have, that we're currently listening to, which is going to be five because we defined it here as five. Now, after that, if we do set an argument, we want to uh, want to do server queue dot connection dot dispatcher dot set logarithmic volume, right? And here we want to do rx1 divided by 5 again, right? Because we always use the 5. So we're going to do return undefined here, so it just doesn't mock me. And this is already a working volume command. How we know this is going to work? Well, you already hear the music a bit in my headphones, right? So I can turn my headphones a bit up, just so that YouTube doesn't flag me, because I don't want to do that. So, I'm going to switch back to Discord, I'm going to play the song, you will hear when it gets louder now. So, I'm going to call volume on it, and it will tell me the volume currently is 5, and if I turn it up to 10, it's going to hurt my ears. You can hear it, right? Okay. I can turn it down to 1, too. So it's very quiet now. So, this is working, and then we can also call volume again, and we return us. Oh, the current volume is that. Oh, it's five. Oh, yeah, we don't we don't change it. Yeah, this is something we need to do too. We need to actually modify the volume. So we need to do server queue dot connection dispatcher dot vol. No, not what am I even doing? Volume equals x1 right so now it works and instead of returning undefined you could do message to channel that send uh i set the volume to uh well x1 right you're gonna do some markdown here everywhere so it's actually nice and readable so if we do that now go back to discard set in a song and do volume 5 volume 2 volume volume 2 right so we got that now that we have volume we want to do something other important uh, the, the, the probably most important thing because we still don't know what is in the queue if some if we don't want to scroll up the whole time so now we're going to add a method or a way to see what's in the queue. So we're gonna do starts with here again. We're gonna do prefix and call this queue. Obviously, this is gonna complain now because there's so many FS statements. So we're gonna do slint saver line. So in here, what we're gonna do <coughs> is we wanna check if there's a server queue first. Also, for setting the volume, right? Please also check if the guy is actually in the <laughs> channel. So for setting the volume here, or for, for displaying the queue, first you want to check if there is one. We don't care if the guy is in the voice channel, because that's not of our interest. So if there is no server queue, we just return, there's nothing playing. If there is one, uh, what we're going to do is return uh, message to channel, send and well, I'm gonna use some template in here, but 
I don't want to bring in another dependency. I could. There is a, there's a dependency called common tags. And what it does is it strips the indents. For example, if I, if I write something here, it will be indented, right? Because this is already a string and I have three tab characters here. Um, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to type something really ugly. You can bring in this dependency if you want to. I don't want to right now because I feel like it's a waste. So I'm going to do some basic markdown here. Call this the song queue. And in that, we get the server queue, then get the songs, and we map this to, so we get one song back. We're gonna do another template literals in here. Uh, gonna do another markdown here, put in the song, the title, and we're gonna join this all together with a new line so that it's not in one line so that each song is in your line right at the end we might want to have if this if it's long queue right we might want to have a now playing i can't type today and here we're just going to do server queue dot songs zero dot title right I, I, I seriously cannot type Siva queue. And this is basically it. This is what gives us our, our queue now. So we're going to test this out, obviously, again. So we go back to Discord. Put in the first song. I'm just going to add the same song over and over, right? Because it doesn't really matter. The second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. So now we have five songs in queue. It will tell us that it's added to the queue properly. I need to make this quieter. So now we have that. We do y.q and we have a queue. It's fully up and working. So the next thing we need to do is we could add some markdown to the titles, but this is not necessary in my opinion. So the next thing we should do is import something from from Discord.js, the util, and from from the util we are going to apply something here. Util dot. See, this is annoying. Escape markdown. And this way we're gonna escape any markdown character, so it doesn't overwrite or doesn't suddenly have like italic characters in our song titles or whatever. We're, gonna, we're strictly gonna apply this to the songs right here already, so we don't need to call it anywhere else. We don't need to call it here and make sure it's 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 correctly working here. And well, the last two commands I have before I'm gonna end this video and you have a working music board <laughs> is pause and resume. I don't know if anyone is ever gonna use that really, but if you really wanna use this. Let's just dig in. Else if message to content dot uh, starts with prefix. The first thing we're gonna do is pause, and the second thing message dot content dot starts with prefix. It's gonna be resume. Those are very very easy to do. What we need to do for pause is we need to check like if there is. Do we need to reverse the statement here? No. There's no server queue. And it's also not playing. So this was playing. This was the boolean we defined up here. It's also not playing. We're just going to return message to chat. Oh my god, what the fuck? There's a slow channel that send. There is nothing here, yeah, man. This is good. There is nothing playing. If there is a server queue and it is playing, then we're just gonna do server queue dot connection dot dispatcher to this patcher dot pause obviously we also need to do server queue dot playing equals false for consistency reasons 
because we did that with the volume two. We're gonna set it first and then we're gonna call it. And now we're just gonna do return message to channel send. Pause the music for you. Now, what this does is if there's no server queue, which means it's not there, right? There's nothing playing, then it it can't pause. And I'm gonna do it an end statement here because if there is no server queue and it's not playing, right? If there is a server queue and it's not playing, well, yeah, this is this is very interesting, but it should never happen. No, it should actually never happen. So the next thing we do down here is we we are reversing this. So. Yeah, no, what? I should just reverse this whole thing, to be honest. So it actually makes sense. Like, this, this, this is stupid. So, I should do like, if there's a server queue, and if it's playing, right? Then we're gonna do that. And if there's nothing. We're gonna do that. So we're gonna do that here too. If there is a server queue, and it's not playing, because we said it false then we're gonna do we're gonna set this value to true again and we're gonna get this up here and just call instead of pause we're gonna call resume on it then we're gonna return a message to channel and send resumed music for you and if there is nothing right just gonna do message to channel send. There is nothing playing, and that's it. We're done. A fully working music bot with almost I could, I did nearly less than a hundred lines of code. Nearly, but it has a fully working queue system. It's it's very sophisticated with the, with its permissions. Uh, it has very easable and readable code. It has some. Well, you can see that we're duplicating ourselves a bit here, right? Like it's always three times of this. And if there's no server queue, we have that pretty often here. But overall, this is this is working and this is already pretty, pretty nifty. So we're going to restart this. Look at it on this dog. Going to join uh, our lovely voice channel. And now we're just going through the commands, top button, right? Play, working. I'm gonna add a second song. Working. I'm gonna skip a song. Working. I'm gonna add another song, so we have two again. Working. I'm gonna stop. Working. I'm gonna add another song. Change the volume. Check, check the volume first, change the volume, check the volume again, do an MP, get the correct value back, do a Q, working, set the volume up again, check the volume, you can hear it on my headphones, call pause, call resume. And we're done, guys. Obviously, this doesn't work, right? So we need to... But you can make this work. But I'm here, and I gave you a very basic, very easy working uh, music pod. I hope you enjoyed the series. It was only three videos, guys. I'm sorry, but there's not much more to do. I may come back to it and could rewrite it completely, but... This works, so if anyone needs a, a music bot for YouTube that's working very fast in a, around 150 lines of code, enjoy and see you guys next time.